so today I wanted to talk about more about the potential sequel and my question is do you think do you guys think that it's gonna be a sequel for this game and maybe the crossplay probably potentially get moved maybe the plans got squandered maybe the plans got rescheduled and maybe gonna maybe it's gonna be implemented into a new game you guys think there's gonna be the same characters are we gonna lose characters maybe some characters will get replaced and that's what I wanted to talk about more of this sequel you know everyone else is talking about the rumors and you know thinking maybe it's probably a new game that's in the works maybe it could be I'm not sure what's gonna happen but just like you know where I stand you know I think this could they can add more into this game you know with the online getting fixed with the crossplay to make it better and where everybody can play the game online and then some new modes I already talked about the new modes and the features they can bring and crossplay being the most important one but maybe it's going to get moved is the sequel really going to be a real thing or maybe it's just something that's that people just assume well this game's been out for a year a little over a year now so maybe it's going to probably be a brand new game that could be the pattern the so-called pattern and the consistency of after a while there's always some kind of new game and uh, or a brand new title or a potential sequel of, of that particular game maybe it's kart racers or maybe it could be a brand new title it could be something completely different it might not even be all star brawl maybe it could be a brand new nicktoons unite a sequel for that with more characters coming together with a brand new story but i think though some of that stuff can be added into this game from this current product with the roster itself what do you guys think so what what's your fighter so we got all these different you know characters this roster is pretty solid but we have so many missing characters still missing so many but don't y'all think and if there is this sequel that's a real thing maybe later on maybe i'm, I'm just gonna throw this out there and i was saying it some of you guys in the stream chat maybe it's gonna be some kind of brand new summer announcement a summer reveal for nickelodeon all-star brawl 2 or a brand new game or whatever new nick game that's going to be revealed this time you know around the summertime and just to kick it back nickelodeon all-star raw got revealed sometime it was around the summertime and but it was around july maybe it's going to be around the same month but we will probably get something earlier maybe around june it could be some kind of announcement and i'm gonna say this too with e3 being canceled we got the summer game fest maybe this game or whatever title they have you know coming soon it could be part of summer games fest or sgf which is basically the new version of e3 so when there's no e3 we got the game fest the summer game fest to really be able to look at these new titles and watch and see what comes out and what gets revealed but as, as quiet as they are and as quiet as they have been they gotta be up to something so that's what i'm talking about it today and what do you guys think is going to happen to some of these rosters and some of these characters? Maybe some kind of surprise guest could get into the game. And maybe some of the characters that we least expect to show up could probably make an appearance in the sequel. And then some. So you got that current roster to come out. Whoever makes it into the base roster, they're going to be they're going to be dropping DLC for sure. Because this game got it. But I hope they don't do like, you know, just a couple characters. You got Shredder. Well, Garfield came out first. Then it was Shredder, Genie, Hugh, and then Rocco. Hopefully it's not going to just be just a couple characters from there, but they can expand, add on to more and bring this roster. This roster could be bigger. I hope they retain these characters and they get to stay. They don't remove Hugh Neutron and Jimmy Neutron comes in and then he's gone. He's a great character with a unique moveset. All the characters that they brought in for DLC and then way before the universe pack existed, these two were supposed to be in the game. But I would like to see additional villains, maybe some surprise guest characters. Maybe they can get a Sonic character, we don't know. A Sonic and Paramount could get in. Somebody. You know, someone that we least, we least expect to be able to get into the game. Hopefully they don't drop any of one of these characters. And I'm going to just say this too. With Michelangelo and Leonardo being on this current roster, I hope they don't do the same thing. Which is two turtles. Let's get the rest of the, ro the roster in for TMNT. 
You only got two of the four turtles that's in the roster itself. So I'm hoping that they bring bring them all. Bring them all so you have the complete set, the squad. It's just so different when it's two of the four. I never seen I never seen a game, you know, from the, the other games that I played. I never seen just two of the four turtles. They were always together in the same game. It's been like that for Car Racers 1, 2, and 3. But in this one, it's a little bit different. You got Leonardo and just Michelangelo. I'm still trying to figure out why they, how they came about with this decision. Raphael's the fighter. He loves to fight. You know, Donatello being the brains of the operation. Things like that. How come he didn't get in the game? And then just see what's going on with the uh, DLC. They could have had Raphael and Donatello come out in a duo pack. That could be like a duo universe pack with them together. I made one of those. Just for you know, to, for Team and T sort of style thing. And then they got other characters like Casey. She's a good fighter too. April being one of the best characters in the game. Casey can't get in. He can be able to shine. And then they got other villains. Bebop and Rocksteady as a duo. There's not many duos. And just like I was already saying before. This game is lacking villains. So I hope they don't really kick. Like let's say for example they bring all four of the turtles in the next game if it is it turns out to be a real thing they kick april to the curve and then shredder and then we get leonardo michelangelo and and donatello with Raphael. they're the four tmnt characters for the game and then everybody else doesn't get in so i'm hoping that everybody that's in this game from spongebob all the way down to rocco they'll be able to retain the roster to bring in to the next game so I'm hoping that they do something like that so we don't lose characters because they have just like I said they got a good roster already it could be bigger and better you don't have Arnold in the game you only you only got Danny Phantom you can drop in Plasmius Vexes and so on and so forth and Jimmy Neutron it's just it's missing it's, it seems so different without some of those iconic characters because they're all stars that's what it's called all star you know all star brawl these nicktoons in the game they're all all stars but there's so many other ones that's missing so hopefully they'll be able to get them in and then they can expand just even from worlds like spongebob he has so many great characters and in the world of avatar you don't have a fire nation rep icon of villains you only got two of the louds one character from Rugrats, one from Zoom, just all single reps from Zoom and Rocco. So you can get way more. Ickis and so many others that's missing. Maybe even some surprise characters that we don't know. So I feel like if there is a sequel, it'll definitely be better than this, bigger and better. And I hope they can, you know, carry over with the voice acting so they they can have unique interactions and dialogue and the subtitles can pop up when the characters talk as well. A little bit of single player mode story and more modes it'll be another great game it'll be more successful than this game because it's going to have more characters and more to offer but maybe that that's what's going on right now that's probably what happened to the crossplay it came out just by accident in early march then it got it got rolled back but with they didn't say anything about it which was even crazier you know, it accidentally rolled out but now oh it's still coming coming to the game Maybe the plans got swapped. Maybe the plans got changed. And it's probably coming to the new game. Instead. And this is probably what we're probably not going to get anything else for this current product. So that's what everybody's waiting to see. That's why I wanted to talk about this a little bit more. You guys think it's going to be a real thing? Or maybe it's going to be a brand new game. An all new Nickelodeon title. It might not even be All Star Raw. Maybe it could be something else that they're working on with these Nicktoons. But feel free to let me know what you guys think. I don't know. It's like, you know, Rocco was the last update, most recent we had. And then a random patch that came out with bug fixes. But we don't even know what got fixed and what got changed. But I'm definitely feeling something for summer. I definitely think this summer is going to be a brand new title. Maybe in June. I could be wrong. 